Look at this little guy. This is the Eoshin E017, and this is an awesome little beginner drone that costs less than 30 bucks. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this into an FPV drone for an extra $16. So this is the Eoshin E017. It's a 22 gram beginner drone that only costs 30 bucks. In the box you get the drone, you get the controller, you get a one cell LiPo and you can choose to get this with one or two batteries. I have the two battery version. You get a USB charger to charge the two LiPos. You get some spare props, there's a little screwdriver in there and a prop removal tool. And you also get a manual, which is pretty thick. This is actually 2.5. 2.5 millimeters thick. So the only additional thing that you'll need is three AAA batteries. Otherwise, everything else comes with the drone. So this is a pretty straightforward little drone that would be good for anyone that has never flown a drone before that wants to get used to the controls, or maybe for your kids as a first drone that'll hold up in some light crashes. This is pretty safe to fly indoors since it's so small and light and it has ducts around the props. You could probably fly it outside, I would just be careful. I feel like a light gust of wind could very easily take this right into a tree. So the ducts are made of plastic, this canopy is made of very thin plastic, the drone is very light. Um, like I said, it's only 22 grams. Looking at the overall design of it, you have a little cage on the bottom here that holds the battery. And this drone doesn't have a power button, so in order to turn it on, you basically just slide this battery in here, and then plug it in. And to bind it with the controller, once you have the three AAA batteries in there, you just click that, turn it on. This will start blinking faster, and then you move the throttle up, down, and now it's connected. And to arm the drone, all you gotta do is push the throttle stick up and it'll arm. And now, when you give it a little bit more throttle, it'll launch. Whoa! The canopy that sits on top of the drone, this green piece, just snaps in place. So if you do have to replace a motor, if you have to do anything to the board, um, it's pretty easy to work on. Uh, it's just held in with these little grommets on the side. You pop one out and then the whole thing just comes right off. Looking at the board, there's two Phillips head screws that are securing this to the frame. When I show you guys how to turn this into an FPV drone, we're gonna take the canopy off just like this and I'm gonna show you how to solder it right to this board. Let's go see how this thing flies and then we'll turn it into an FPV drone. Hopefully you guys can hear me good. Got my GoPro on my chest. Gonna plug in a new battery, put it right into the bottom. Just plug it in and then turn the radio on, up and down. And then to arm the drone again, you just go up like that and it's off. So first things first, if you're noticing that the drone is like drifting to the side or anything, to adjust the trim, all you gotta do is hold, uh, press down on the throttle like this, and this will start flashing. And then you can adjust the trim by moving um, the pitch and roll to the direction that it needs to go. So right now it's pretty good. Maybe I'll have it go forward a little bit. And now it just kind of holds its position pretty nicely. Um, you get three different speed modes to get those. This, the initial speed mode is uh, obviously the slowest. To get into the other ones, you just click down on this. And now it's in speed mode two, so there's gonna be a little bit faster. and then speed mode three, and this is obviously gonna be the fastest. To do a flip on this drone, all you gotta do is click this, and then, in the, and then flip in the direction that you wanna do a flip. You can do front flip. Do back flip. And the drone also has headless mode. I don't usually fly in headless mode, so this is probably gonna throw me off. Um, but to get into headless mode, that's this button right here. And basically what that does is, no matter what direction the drone is facing, that will always be forward. So even when the drone, like right now, that is forward. But when I rotate the drone like this, that's still forward, which is a little weird. And to take it out of headless mode, all you gotta do is click that button again and then you're back into normal mode. Another thing that this drone does that's a little interesting, you have a rotating button. So you click this, 
and now the drone's just gonna spin. It's kinda cool. As you can see, it bounces off of stuff pretty easily. Flies pretty good. All right, let's turn this thing into an FPV drone. First thing you wanna do, make sure your battery's not plugged in. I just take the battery out. Uh, we're gonna take this top canopy off completely and you're gonna need one of these camera VTX um, all-in-one units. This one I got for 16 bucks. You can get them for 20 bucks, 30 bucks. You can get a couple different options. Typically they're usually like uh, limited to 25 milliwatts. Sometimes you can get them up to 200. 25 is gonna be fine for a drone like this. You're really not flying this far away. So 25 milliwatts is gonna be more than enough. So looking at the top of the board, you might have to move this little antenna uh, over to the side. The battery plugs are right here. And right on the other side of that, we have a B plus and a B minus. So that's gonna be our battery voltage that we can use for our camera. So depending on what kind of camera you got, it probably came with a power uh, lead like this one did. I'm not gonna be using this end right here, so I'm just gonna cut it off. So now I'm gonna take these wires, I'm gonna pre-tin them, and we're gonna solder them right to those two battery pads. Pretty simple to do. Um, you can use wire strippers, I just, use my nails because it's pretty easy to do. I'm gonna pre-tin these wires. Now on the drone, I'm gonna put a little bit of solder on there just uh, so that we have enough to grab onto. And now as you can see on this, like I said before, there's a B plus. This one is B minus, so that's battery positive. So that's gonna go to our red wire. That's gonna be voltage. So now with that one hooked up, we'll do the same thing for the negative. Just like that. So now, you pretty much have an FPV drone. All I would do is I would twist this so that the wire stays nice and clean. Um, obviously, we're not gonna be able to put the canopy on anymore. So what I plan on doing, since this isn't gonna, <coughs> so since this isn't gonna be doing crazy uh, freestyle maneuvers, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reposition the antenna back to where that was, and then I'm gonna put the camera right up front here because that is the front. And I'm just gonna take some of this uh, blue tack and you really don't need a lot of this. And I'm just gonna put it on the bottom of the camera. I'll leave a link to this uh, down in the description, but this is just blue tack. It's stuff that you can use to stick stuff on your wall. And I'm just gonna put it on the bottom of the camera. Right like that. And now we can secure it safely to our drone. And now you've got a little FPV drone. Look at that. I love it. So once you have it all wired up, you have the antenna back where it's supposed to be and none of the uh, blue tack is going over into the ducts. We can take our battery, put it down in the bottom, plug it in, moment of truth. Video transmitter is lighting up. So that's kind of telling us that we'll have video feed. So now I'll take my little screen here. I'll find the channel, hopefully. There it is. All right. Now we got video. Love it. Let's fly it around. See how it flies with a camera on it.
sick. It's a little $30, I guess it'd be $45 FPV drone. So that is the Eashin E017, and that's how you can turn it into an FPV drone too. So if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if you have any questions about this little drone or the camera that I put on it, leave a comment down below.